how to create moving paths using reason. Of course, you can apply the things I'm going to tell you to any other software as well. So what you can see right now is my default reason song. I just have six empty combinators. And as a start, I'm going to create a Thor. Thor is a very versatile synth and I use it in many of my patches. We start creating two multi oscillators. We uh, tune the first one down one octave and we select the smooth uh, sawtooth waveform here. I'm using octave detuning here and interval tuning for the second one. Activate the second one, adjust the filter envelope a little bit. We use a 18 decibel filter so that uh, we get more of the high frequency content. And we adjust the filter envelopes. For those slow moving sounds, of course, we want to have very slow moving filter settings. So we have a attack phase of 5.22 seconds. And we add a little bit of chorus here. And always for any ambient kind of sound, a little bit of reverb. Don't overdo it with the reverb. Just use it like 50%. Um, Just increase the size a little bit. And adjust the, uh, we want to use a different algorithm. We want to use the arena algorithm and adjust the left and right uh, delay here. So we get a wide stereo reverb. So this is how it sounds right now. This is already quite nice, but uh, we are not there yet. So next uh, I'm going to add a wavetable oscillator. So you see uh, the basic technique is to layer sounds. You can layer sounds in time and you can layer sounds in space. To layer sounds in time, we use the amplitude envelope. So we have different sounds uh, appearing at different times. And to layer sounds in space, we use frequency layering. So we have different sounds with different frequencies that don't interfere each other. Yeah, I have uh, selected the wavetable oscillator here and I think I'm gonna go with, uh, let's say, what shall we try? Let's try the bell wavetable here and let's use LF01 with a stepped waveform to modulate the pitch of oscillator 3. And we're going to route this oscillator 3 into a high pass filter. And this is how it sounds. oscillator 3 so that it doesn't uh, kick in uh, with the with the other sound so you have a different uh, slightly different amplitude envelope
of sounds, these uh, multi oscillators ranging in the mid frequencies, and the wavetable, which is in the high frequency range. So, next, I'm going to add a maelstrom. No, this wasn't where I wanted to have it. So, and we connect the output of the maelstrom to the input of Thor. So we can use uh, the internal routing to route it into the filter 3 of Thor, which is great. So we have, uh, if, we, if we need to, we can apply a filter to the master signal coming from Thor. So I think we just need some, yeah, maybe some vocal kind of sound. It's just experimenting. Maybe the female choir, just try it out. Just uh, fill the envelope a little bit, activate it, and just uh, move the motion to a fairly low level. So we uh, move very slowly through the sound. slowly in from the Thor and this one is coming in a bit quicker and I think we just need one sound for the attack phase and let's just try using the NNXT with a sample library here and um, if you want to uh, rebuild this patch you can find it uh, in the description below the video and I'm also only going to use the recent factory sound bank so you can rebuild the patch if you like. So we could just try something guitar, guitar like or plucked. Maybe this muted chess guitar. Let's just try that out. Oh. Of course, I have to enable the routing setting here. So otherwise, we wouldn't hear anything. Okay, let's try it out.
velocity settings. So I just decrease them a little bit and gonna add a little bit of echo here. The compressor not really for compressing yet. Maybe I'm gonna use it for the mix down when I use this uh, patch in the track and the equalizer just to shape the sound a little bit. I think it's something missing in the low to mid frequency range, not too much. Also, feel free to post any video responses with your own sounds, your own tracks, and thanks, goodbye.